everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for coming and uh, watching. I really hope you uh, like this video. So I am doing a Rita Ora from her new music video inspired makeup look and it's the kind of silvery nude lip look. I'll post a picture right here. I love this look. I cannot wait to show you how I created this look. It was super fun, super challenging for me, and I don't know, I just really like it. I think it's super fun and cute. And also, I am doing a collaboration <laughs> with Dinah um, here on YouTube, and also I believe her name is called uh, Maria, I'm so sorry if I didn't pronounce it. I'll have both their links down to, below and they created two looks from the video as well as there's like five looks from this um, music new music video from Rita and they were all beautiful. So they each did a look. So here I will show you their a little clip it of their looks that they created. how I created this. I don't really show the hair, I just kind of threw it up in a bun in the back and just kind of pulled some pieces out just to make the hair. So that's how I did the hair. But if you want to see how I created this beautiful um, bubbly silvery look, which I think is so beautiful, very bronze neutral lip look, um, keep watching to see how I created that. So here we go. Okay, so I put my uh, moisturizer on. Now I'm just going to put my primer on and foundation quickly. I'm going to use the Matte Perfect primer because Rita Ora has a very kind of matte, uh, bronzy kind of glow in this video. So place just a few, just a little bit of this because you do, don't need a lot. And then I'm going to go in with Rimmel's Stay Matte foundation in 100 ivory. I'm just gonna uh, blend canvases cosmetics F20 and I'm just gonna blend this all in. Okay, so I have the foundation on. It's kind of quite matte now. Next, I'm gonna do concealer. She's pretty, pretty bronze. Her skin just kind of looks really flawless in this look, I think. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of concealer, just a few drops, because I don't wanna look, um, I just want my skin to look really flawless for this look. Just gonna blend it in. I'm just using Elf's Flawless Concealer Brush. So it's not super highlighted because I do really want just a flawless uh, canvas face with a very bronze. So we're gonna bronze this look up. I'm okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder. I'm just gonna use Elf's powder, I'm almost out, just to kind of set everything. It also adds just a little bit of color, but it also just sets everything up. So I'm just using Elf's Big Flaw, Big Kabuki face brush. I love this brush for just, you know, setting everything. I'm really getting like that really matte face. And then under my eyes, I want to put a little bit of like a yellowy kind of powder just to kind of catch anything that maybe will fall out. So I'm just going to use the sponge. I've been seeing loads of YouTubers doing this. So I'm just going to take a yellowy kind of powder that I have from Blank Canvas and just put it on my sponge. And then just apply, apply it really lots under my eye. Okay, and don't powder it in or anything, just kind of let it sit there while you do your eye makeup. And then we're gonna dust away at the end. I'm gonna go on to my eyebrows now. 
and I'm going, she has quite dark kind of eyebrows. I already have quite a dark eyebrow, but I'm even going to darken them just a little bit for this look. I'm going to use um, Elf's eyebrow kit, and I think it's medium, I think. So I'm going to brush my brows, get the shape that I want, and then I'm going to fill them in. Okay, so that is my eyebrows done. They're quite um, darker than I usually go, but I think I actually quite like them. I think they turned out quite nice. So I like to just brush them, make sure they're sitting exactly where I want. I'm going to set them. I'm gonna use Essence's eyebrow gel and just run it through my brows and just set them exactly where I want them to lay. Okay, so that's the eyebrows done. So now I'm going to put a base. I'm going to use NYX's Milk, just to really, because she has a very silvery um, look to her eye. And it's really strong, bold. So there's that. I'm going to take ELF's Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow this and I can't remember which one this is just like the silvery white kind of color and this is going to be the base um, over top of this just to kind of get it so now it's not an even just flat out she's got kind of like a I don't know how to explain it she's got like round parts it's not just flat over your so this is going to be this will be fun I'm going to take some onto my brush and the outer corner of her First, I'm actually going to just apply this all over my lid because this brush is not working very good with it. So I just applied this all over my lid and now what I want to do is I kind of want to get the bumps um, that she has. So she does have like a bump kind of here, like a big bump on the outside which goes really high. This goes way up here and then it kind of goes down. Okay, so I kind of needed to get something just to kind of draw maybe more. So going like one and then she's got like a really big kind of bump at the end and then it goes around. Okay, so do you see it's kind of like bumpy? So what I want to do now is just fill it in with this Catrice eyeshadow and just give it that more of a gray look. I'm not going to be able to get the super rigid look that she has. It looks like that. And I, I've just tried to do some of the ridge. I'm no expert here, but you know. You know, I got it out to the sides. Okay. So it looks like that so far. So we can actually take a brush, just a powder brush, and kind of brush that powder under your eyes away. Okay, so this is the kind of silver look. You kind of just want to give it that little, you don't want it beautifully like curved perfectly. You kind of want, excuse me, kind of want little ridges in your look. It's really kind of hard, harder to achieve than I thought. What I want to do is I'm going to take um, Avon's Blackest Black Glimmer Stick Eyeliner and tight, want, tight line my upper lash and put mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I applied the... I tight lined my top line and I put mascara on and now I'm going to put some falsies. So what I'm going to do is put some false lashes on. Now I put a decent coat of mascara on because I wanted my lashes to be really thick. She has really nice full thick lashes in this look. So I'm also doubling up on um, some eyelashes that I have. So I'm going to apply these to my lashes and I will be right back. Okay, so I put the dramatic lashes on. She just has some really thick lashes, and this is all I could kind of come up with. Um, I'm very a neutral kind of girl when it comes to lashes, and most of the time I don't wear false lashes, and if I do, I go for a very natural, just to kind of give me a little fuller look. So I decided to kind of like go really dramatic with the lashes. I think it looks awesome, because she has very beautiful, thick, full lashes in the video. So it's coming along, so I put some eyeliner on the bottom as well, and I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara now at the bottom lashes. 
okay? And now I just want to kind of bronze up my face because I haven't put any bronzer on yet. So she has a very bronzed face. So what I'm going to do is just take um, from my blank canvas just a light bronze, my contouring kit. Kind of got a little bit broken, so I can't really show you it. But now I just want to like really lightly um, just bronze up the face, put a bit of bronzer, um, you know, around my face to really bronze up this look because she is just super beautifully bronzed. She doesn't look like she has a blush for this look, so I'm kind of using my bronzer as a blush. And then I'm going to just take a really thin brush, like really just a nice thinly point, not pointy even, but I just want to bronze my nose a little bit. Okay, and then for the lips, I'm just going to line my lips with my lip liner from Essence, which is in Soft Rose. I don't even know if you can get this one anymore. So for the look, she has a very neutral kind of lip, so I'm going to go with Elf's, uh, uh, this is the Nude Nostalgic, and just put that over the lip liner. And I believe I have that look, uh, that lipstick look that she has, something kind of like that with those two mixed together, because it's like a peachy nude kind of color she has on her lips. That is the makeup look. I'm just going to quickly throw my hair into kind of something that she has, and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, so this is kind of like my finished look. My hair's a little bit flat. It's just like not wanting to do what I wanted. So I just kind of just made it like a little messy um, style because uh, that's kind of what she has with this look. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Please thumbs up and check out Dinah. And I'm going to say her name is Maria. Um, I hope that's how you pronounce her name. I literally just met her to do this. So this is super fun. I'm, I love this challenge. This was definitely a challenge for me because it wasn't just a smooth application. I had to kind of make it a little bit bumpy. And I don't know. I hope I achieved the look. I hope you love this look because I so love it. And I can't wait to do some more tutorials and really get into this and plan some ones and get some like crop props and stuff like that. So um, I don't know. When I saw the music video, I was just like, I have to do this look. So hopefully you like it. And please remember to check out Dinah and I hope it's Maria. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, I hope that's what it is. Thank you again. Thumbs up this video and subscribe. Bye.